minutes until my next meeting, so. Go ahead, quick. Right, yes, okay. My idea, I wrote a whole presentation and I didn't want to miss anything. Uh, my idea, observational film. Right. You know, like documentaries, making documentaries, you see that they aren't interviews. It's just like that person's life put into two hours. We actually don't make documentaries here, Sandra. Um, and do you need a debrief on what we do here? Because I can't have you wasting my time. Oh, it's Sandy. No, no, please. Just hear me out. They can be fictional, like the Florida Project. The Florida Project and Mad Red Stone. They're just fictional observational films. Fire the film films. Sorry. Fire the time. Yeah. Fire the wall films, if you may. And I think us as a company would do an amazing job with it. And if we created a storyline and looked into how to film an observational, uh, I am sorry. And looked into how to film an observational film, as oh sorry, an observational film or a cinema verte. According to the staff mass staff masterclasses, there are five characteristics to making observational film observational filmmaking. Realism and intermediacy. It tells true stories, or in our case, it would make a story look and feel as real as a documentary. We would follow our actors in real time, no jumps in time, but that would be obvious, and we would follow our actors in the spontaneous sense, as if we don't have time for jump cuts. And we are following the actors to make the audience feel like they are with them, and it makes it so much easier to feel hooked and feel emotion towards the characters. And does that not sound good? Everyone will be obsessed. Keep talking. Okay, yes. So, the second characteristic is handheld shots. Sudden filming real events. The makers don't have time to get a tripod and set up. It's urgent. And it's real. It's intense. These shots that possibly could be impossible to film without handheld characters and hack cameras, sorry. And thanks to the invention of portable film cameras in the 1950s, we can do this. The third characteristic is long takes. Wow, I'm a simp for long takes. Oh, <laughs> since we would want it to feel as natural as possible, we would use long takes with little editing. This just helps enhance the naturalism and keeps the viewers fully immersed in, into the scene. The fourth would be little or no voiceover. The filmmakers don't interact with the characters like they would in regular documentaries. This avoids bringing in the bias involved with it being shot with the hint of filmmakers' personal opinions. The fifth, char fifth characteristic is no reenactments. There will be things that happen over the course that wouldn't be documented. So sometimes the characters will be talking about things and the viewers will just have to imagine and form up their own opinions of this, of this. And this does nothing but add to the realism. So, and you know, hooked. First of all, never say you know. Second of all, I, I guess I'm not mad at the idea, but I really need the reasoning behind this. What, why are we doing an observational film? Yes, yes, of course I can do that. Well, cinema verte is a form of direct cinema. The goal is to encapsulate with real life the reality of a person or story, and with no rearrangements or use of improvisation. And this can unveil the truth about the subject, about uh, the truth of the subject, or bring out hidden ideas. It was developed by Edgar Morin and Gene Rauch in the late 1950s, early 1960s, and inspired by Zeke Gorov's theory about Kina Pravda, which was to capture fragments of actuality with, when organized together, show the deeper truth, which like could not be seen by the naked eye. Like, God, how sexy does that sound? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm really passionate. Okay. Oh, also, and something I love about how direct cinema is more informative than entertaining, while still being insanely entertaining, and it's less opinionated and more factual, and despite often the different audiences having all different opinions due to there being no bias in the filming and no director driving the audience's opinion through questioning or narrating, the opinions state of the facts of events that occur naturally throughout the documentary. Cinema, especially the group conversation that comes after it, that everyone will form different opinions of each of the characters, and they're just so real. I, I like this idea. I, I, I like you. I, your passion really brings a new, a new. Song.
slide to me. You know what? If you bring me some storyboards, bring me some storyboards, I think you could be using some direct you know Keep up the good work. I, I, need to, I need to get ready to go to my meeting, but good work. Oh, wow. Thank you for this. Yes, yes. Okay, I will go. <laughs> You won't forget this, you really won't, really. Thank you. Sam, just, just out of curiosity, what was your idea for this film? Oh, yeah. Maybe like about a lonely carrot who wants to find love and get a job? What if he lets his leaves grow and to find great seeds of life and find the meaning of life? No, 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 no,